Hello, my name is Alberto Rubio. I'm Vice President of Professional Services with Clear Sky Technologies, and I'll be talking about NetView 360 today. NetView 360 is a one-of-a-kind uh, platform that was developed to help wireless operators solve the small cell deployment problems. The platform start, starts off with a hotspot analysis, which answers the question, where is the traffic to offload and how many small cells are required. This is done at a four meter resolution and it is available for indoor and outdoor analysis. The second module in NetView 360 is called the Technology and Solutions Analysis. This looks at all the tools and the toolkits that operators may have, such as, do I use small cells? Do I build new macros? Do I use remote radio heads? Do I go DAS or Wi-Fi? The third module is a real estate and backhaul analysis, which looks at all possible combinations of real estate as well as backhaul and analyzes time to market as well as technical feasibility and total cost of ownership. The fourth module is the physics of NetView 360, which is the RF planning and network design. To do this, NetView 360 uses a one meter propagation analysis with full building outline for the entire planet. It predicts KPI impact pre-post macro and then plus small cell. It also performs offload and onload analysis as well as interference coverage and this is available indoor as well as outdoor on the same platform. Finally, NetView 360 looks at a trend in business analysis looking at different trade-off options with different solutions. What is the time to market, total cost of ownership, and what technical benefits do you get from each solution to help operators make an informed decision? In this example, we'll be looking at the island of Manhattan in New York City. The first step in the example, as you can see, there's a full building outline that was used, is to understand where hotspots are, where are the users, where is the traffic. So NetView 360 does a in-depth analysis around multiple archetypes, whether it's enterprise, um, restaurant locations, um, hotspots outdoor that people might congregate, such as parks, um, on the road, etc. cetera. So to see that, we will turn on the traffic analysis and zoom in around Central Park. The colors show megabyte demand in terms of data usage. Red is the hottest, then yellow, then blue and green, and finally down to the purples. As we can see, there is outdoor heavy data usage in this portion of Central Park where people congregate. We also have a full indoor analysis that looks at multiple buildings indoor to figure out which parts of the building have greater data demand than other parts of the building. We can see, for example, this building has a lot of data demand and usage as opposed to this building, which has significantly less. We also have visibility to data usage on the street all points outdoor and all points indoor. This will help operators to understand from a capacity offload where small cells should be placed and whether they would be required indoor or outdoor or combination of the two. The next map is a coverage map. This is an LTE coverage map. Uh, red is strong coverage and then it goes down all the ways to the greens and then the blues which is weaker coverage. This was all performed at sub one meter resolution, propagation modeling with full building outline and heights. Uh, the map is uh, very accurate, um, far more accurate than traditional methods that are used today for propagation modeling. And our propagation modeling does not use ray tracing. So it runs very, very quickly. We have visibility to indoor coverage as well as outdoor coverage to help us get to the next step and determine where small cells should be placed. We also performed an interference analysis looking at LTE SINAR to characterize the end user experience in terms of interference levels and throughput.
We next characterized which indoor locations would be best suited for small cells. There is a metric that was turned on that looks at both coverage, quality, and user demand. And the buildings that had weak coverage, poor quality, and high levels of data usage were filtered out from the subset of all the buildings to find the low-hanging fruit where small cells should be placed. The buildings in blue represent those buildings for a targeted indoor small cell deployment. In the next step, we understand and determined, NEFU 360 determined, how many small cells would be required within each building. If we zoom in, we can see all the dots that represent an indoor small cell location. This is done by looking at the density of the building as well as the data usage and an approximation of how many walls are within the building for a particular product power and frequency. For example, this building, it was determined that four small cells would be required on the ground floor and NEFU 360 also extrapolates up to cover the entire building how many small cells would be required. This fully automated design saves operators time and money by getting away from using IB Wave for every single building that needs to be analyzed. The next layer to show is going to be the final result of a small cell deployment. In this case, NEFU 360 has placed a combination of indoor small cells in the targeted buildings as well as outdoor small cells where required and it gives a holistic view of the entire HET net showing the impact of the macro network to the small cell network and vice versa for indoor and outdoor. We can see the indoor small cells coverage and their impact to the outdoor as well as the macro from the outdoor to the indoor and the outdoor small cells impact to everything above. So I hope this was informative. Uh, NEFU 360 is available from S Clear Sky currently. Um, it is working and we are looking for opportunities to help grow and improve your networks. Thank you.